In 2017, I was diagnosed with stage three melanoma based on a, a mole in my neck that had been spread to my lymph nodes. Went through a couple surgeries where most of the lymph nodes in my neck were removed. After um, a bout of immunotherapy treatment, things were looking good and I went to two years and finally uh, was told that my cancer was in remission. Well, that was in 2019. Uh, later in 2019, found out that we were pregnant with our second child, and we went to Disneyland as a family. We had a great time, and then 2020 hit, and so did COVID, and so did a lump on my neck that turned out to be cancer returning. So at six months pregnant, I went in, had another lymph node removed, baby got more and early, and she was perfectly healthy and wonderful, and then I immediately started on another year of immunotherapy finished my last immunotherapy appointment last June and had my uh, last scan after that in July and everything looked fine. Went back just before Christmas to have my six month scan just to make sure things were looking good. And unfortunately, there were some things that showed up on the scan. <sighs> Sometimes there's bad news too. And I found out today that it is very likely that my cancer is back and has spread else. There's numerous tumors that are showing up in my pelvis and my right femur and in my lower spine. Um, I hopefully will be getting in for a biopsy on at least one of those tumors this coming Friday and we will learn more. Um, so as we move forward, uh, we, we still, we don't know what it all means. We don't know where things are going. Um, doesn't look great but we're trying to stay positive as possible. My goal was going to be to try and stay positive. And, and I know there's going to be moments like this where I'm not feeling so positive and I'm scared. Because it's not an easy road. And I'm definitely feeling that right now. And it's scary and it's okay to be scared and it's okay to be mad. And, um, and I'm hoping this campaign will not only help our family, but eventually be able to assist other families who are going through very similar. It is um, very tricky when you have chronic illness or cancer or anything because uh, you basically become a sick person who works. You have to work to pay the bills, to have the insurance, and then that's all you get to do. Uh, all of your sick leave and your vacation time is used up on doctor's appointments and other things. And so then you lose time with family and making those happy memories and things. Um, and that's what we're hoping to be able to do as a family as we move forward. And I just woke up this morning and I was like, God, I hate. Like there's, there's so many things that I want to do. Very, very much appreciate you guys again, even taking just a couple minutes to watch and learn a little bit about us. I'll continue to give you updates as I learn more, let you know a little bit more about our family. And, um, you know, please consider uh, donating if you can, share if you can't. Uh, this was all my husband's idea, so <laughs> we can thank him um, and he's pretty incredible. Um, so thank you again very, very much.